Hello everyone and welcome back to Birthdays the Beginning where we are here with our ever-expanding dinosaur population. Look at this! We have finally got some reptiles. We've got flying reptiles now! I am so pumped about that! We've got itchies just absolutely running all over the place. The dimes are starting to spread and we even have so many of these adorable little newts. I am so in love with these little guys. Just look at their tiny little faces. They are so freaking precious. They kind of remind me of Sobble, to be honest. My little Pokemon Sobble. <laughs> And they actually will hopefully, if the Tree of Life has any anything to say about it, hopefully evolve into... Let's see if I can find our adorable little... Look at these guys! They can evolve into other adorable, precious little newts. We're trying to get other populations of newts over here and going from the Dimetrodon so that hopefully we can start having itty bitty teeny tiny little mammals, which would be so much fun. Oh, but we're doing so much better now that we have expanded the seas and made the world so much hotter. I really hesitated because I was worried that we were going to lose a lot of the precious species that we have been tending to for some time, but the cycle of life and evolution and time must all go on. So even though we are losing some of the creatures that we have been taking care of for a long time, they're actually transforming into other creatures and just look at this! We really are getting more life spreading through the entire cube! Our little exoplanet experiment is really evolving and it's so much fun! So we're going to carry on today working on trying to get plenty of new animals and well, creatures and plants appearing now that we're going to make things a bit warmer. We did expand this huge shallow sea, it's mostly a shallow sea, last time so I don't think we need to actually worry about going ahead and uh, you know trying to make things hotter. I think they're going to become naturally hot as time goes on but I do want to go ahead and try to capture where is our okay let's go up onto the the top of our survey peak. I love this peak because we can kind of see everything from here. So where did our flying reptile go? There he is. So let's actually capture him inside of one of our jars because I love him and I don't want to lose his DNA. So we're going to capture his DNA in this mysterious glass jar if we can ever catch up to him. All right, here he comes. Here he comes. And then let's check out what he could actually end up maybe evolving or mutating into. Let's save that genetic information before we let time pass on and just really start like zipping by us. Because I think I saw a sauropod. And if we have sauropods... <gasps> I saw a sauropod! Yes! Okay, I really, 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 really want to be able to get this guy. I freaking love, love, love sauropods. They're my favorite of all the dinosaurs. So we're going to try to go ahead and get these guys. And then we'll keep an eye on this guy. The Udis. Hmm. Mm, Udi. Hmm. Yeah, we'll call him Udis. But we'll keep an eye on the Udis because they could eventually turn into the first avian. Oh, I think the, the, the temperature just has to be really, really, really hot for them. 41 to 51. So remember what I just said about things maybe being hot enough on their own? You know what? Let's do it. We're going to actually make... No, 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 no. We're, we're going to have global warming hit again. If a ridiculously hot planet is the price I need to pay in order to have some of those amazing creatures evolve, well, I hope everything will go okay if we do this, but we're going to permanently raise the average temperature of the cube. All right, let's do it. And, oh geez, oh geez, we'll do it one more time. Okay, that's mildly terrifying. We may have just caused all sorts of chaos. Let's do it. Okay. The cactuses are really struggling. My cactuses! <gasps> we have velociraptors! What? Velociraptors? Did they just... Oh, my cactuses are gone! Oh. I guess we made it too, like, moist over here. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, we made it way too moist over here. Maybe if I like raise, whoops, I didn't mean to raise that. Maybe if I raise the land so it can like stay away from some of the the water. Yeah, let's raise these up a little bit. 
And then maybe we can get our cactuses to come back if I use that special... I just used it a minute ago, so I can't use it now. But there is a special, like, item where you can do, like, fierce sunlight. So we might use the fierce sunlight item to try to protect my poor, ca my poor like, cactuses. They never had a chance. All right, there's a few things on the verge of extinction, but I saw... You guys saw it too. Did they already die? I saw raptors for like a split second on the list, but I don't see them anywhere. So let's let's let time go by for just a second. No, there's, there's a thousand velociraptors somewhere on our planet. Where are they? I need to find them for a lot of reasons. Let's see... The sea has a bunch of gifts for me today. All right, I'll collect these. Recovery leaves. What do we have? Normal recovery leaves. Oh, I'm looking, oh, they're over here. They're over here, they're over here. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. No one told me they were so cute. I would have gotten these guys so much sooner. A dinosaur that became larger and faster than Eoraptor, allowing it to hunt for prey with increasing ferocity. Hi, buddy. Oh my gosh. Look at the whole population we've got down here now. Oh, this is so satisfying. Take care of your little cube. It's like watching your garden flourish. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Oh, he's coming for us. He's coming for us, friends. Oh, look at him! He's got it! He's eating it! That was so cool! Look at you! Are you gonna run around and chase after everybody now? Is that what you're gonna do? Look at him go! He's off! He's like, I evolved from you, dude! I'm gonna eat all your food! This is my world now? Okay, this is really cool. We've got so many different creatures. All right, but we also expose them to intense global warming. So let's see how that plays out. All right, we've got a new, is that a tree? We've got a new tree or something over here. <gasps> it is a new plant. Oh, I highly approve. I love it when we get some new trees. Look at this guy! Trees that grew on clusters on hot land. It appears as packs of velociraptors begin to increase in number! Yay! All right, and what do we have over here? Like, there's still a bit of moisture over here, and I think this is why my, my poor... Yeah, I can't use the intense sunlight, but we'll try using the intense sunlight and the various vegetation later to see if I'm able to, like, get our cactuses to come back, because I feel a little bad for our cactuses. Also, something's on the top of my mountain. What do we just get? I love having the, the powers that we're like learning. The Mitrodon is on the verge of extinction? Global warming obtained. So we got global warming. Probably because we had some snow up there. Normal recovery leaves. I don't want the Dimetrodons to be on the edge of extinction. They're actually pretty important. That's you, friend. Why are you on the edge of extinction? Here. Get into the little glass jar so that, like, hopefully if you do die off, we'll have a backup. Alright, let's see how this goes. Alright, we have 5,000 of something else new. And, let's see. Where is this new guy? 5,000, huh? Oh, look at our planet. Oh, <gasps> it's so cool! It's so cool, it's so cool, it's so cool! What? Oh my gosh, a flying dinosaur differentiated from uh, Edomorphodon. It hunts for prey in prairies and appears as velociraptors were propagating on land. So because the velociraptor populations are just going wild, apparently like we've got prairies that are thriving. Oh my word. All right, here, let's go ahead and if they want prairies, I'm gonna actually like flatten these a little bit. In fact, where are my field sources? All right, field sources. Let's go ahead and make this into, you know, just casually uh, as one does. If they want, if they want prairies, I'm gonna give them prairies, okay? <laughs> because everybody seems to be doing it pretty darn good. This particular zone seems to be just really having a lot of animals thrive, so I don't mind transforming it into, whoops, some prairies. 
They seem to really want like this flat land. So let's see if that helps them out. Sweet. All right. Amazing new creatures. Other things that the fragile red ferns went extinct. Wait, pterodons? Oh my gosh. Yeah, a lot is happening. We've got flying dinosaurs to shake a stick at. What is happening? This is so cool. There's so many of them. Come here, you. You're amazing. They kind of look like a little gang. Oh, they kind of remind me. Their hair reminds me of like the way that anime will have like the biker dudes have really slick hair. <laughs> That's what they're reminding me of right now. How do I reach him? He's so high up. Oh my gosh, how do I get up to his height and catch him? <gasps> Maybe that's what we have to do. We have to like zip up to try to catch him. All right, where'd he go? Here he comes. All right, there we are. We see where he's at. If I get a little closer, can I? All right, I think we need to like actually try to catch him. This is kind of cool. Yes, we got him! Yes! Another flying dinosaur! A pterodon that flew from the shore to hunt for fish in the ocean. It appeared as the number of our something something were in, in increased in number. So what were those guys again? The little R something somethings? Oh, it was, it was from its own type. Oh, that's really cool. So they just straight up like mutated right down, evolved right down the line. That is so cool. We might get another one in just a second. Adapted to high elevations. It primarily soars above rivers to hunt fish and other prey. Okay, so we need uplands or mountains. It needs to have a little bit of a cooler temperature and it needs rivers. So I don't really have any mountain rivers yet. Let's get over here. And I need to work on my mountain river that I've been talking about doing forever over here. So let's get this set down. In fact, I wonder, let's get a field source that's about this big. There we go. And then let's also get a field source about this big. And then I will put a river in here and we'll see if we can attract ourselves one of those lovely creatures. So river source here. It's a little colder up here too, because I have the cold stone to kind of keep things on the cool side. Nice. So now we've got a little waterfall over here. And we'll see if that's enough to maybe attract potentially the creature to evolve, but we might need more highlands, so I'll actually come over. Field source. So we've got the field source, but we need to go ahead and increase this. I'm going to increase it all to... Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but that was really cool! I have no problem with that. That's actually really awesome. I'm just gonna leave that. That's all. That's really cool. Alright, let's see what happens. Probably need a bigger highland over there, would be my guess. Oh, climate is the, the pterodon, we got him! I think that's literally the guy that we were just after. Maybe. Where is he? Okay, there's newbies. There's newbies. I've got to find the newbies on the map. All right, let's see. First things first, there's some new resources to gather. So I'll zip around with my little coffee. I really need to get some creatures like propagating over here in these shallows. It's a little, a little concerning not to have any of them like flourishing there. I probably should have grabbed the Codium for Jolly while I was at it. Ooh, and I like these tree things. I need to see if those tree things turn into anything else. We're having so many birthdays all of a sudden. Not tar no Tyrannosaurus just yet, but I'm okay with that. He might show up any minute though. All right, what else do we have over on this side? Did our little spiders, our spiders went extinct because we got way too hot. I mean, we just had a million spiders and then we lost them. That makes me feel a little sad. I wanted to, I wanted to capture them. Okay, these guys actually don't evolve into anybody else. So we don't need to worry about working on that. However, the conifers can become other conifers. Hmm, hmm which might become olive trees, which might feed people. 
Well, let's go see if we can evolve the conifers. Those fussy, fussy conifers that I scoffed at for so long might actually prove to be somewhat important. So let's come over and see if we can drop a seed. Should we do evolution? Mutation on them. And then maybe a seed of evolution on another one. And we'll see what happens. All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where, wasn't I just looking for another... Like the pterodons! Where's my pterodons? Let's see, let's see. New creature. New creature over here, over here. It is almost... Oops, I get turned around so easily. It's over here somewhere. Apparently. Oh, hello! It's actually another little fish, you guys! I thought it was going to be a flying guy, but it's an, a little small fish that migrated from brackish waters to fresh water as the numbers of rivers on land began to increase. <gasps> yes, my little swamp guy has a friend now. I have loved this swamp fish for so long. I'm very happy about that. Here, we're going to go ahead and raise this up so that I can spread this little river. Because th this was meant to connect up literally millions of years ago. <laughs> and I just didn't get around to doing it. But I made this whole waterway over here so it could be a cascading fantastic new home for my beloved swamp fish. So that it could go ahead and enjoy life in other waters if it wanted. So let me actually grab our little, our little like brackish fish. I kind of want to spread some more populations around. Dimetrodon, you're a Mitrodon, Dimetrodon. Dimetrodons, why are you struggling? Here, I'm going to put him over here. Hopefully your population doesn't continue to struggle. We do need you. Um, and I, I can't use the glass jar for quite some time actually. All right, and I'm no longer worried about these guys actually, so I'm actually gonna drop him too. And then let's sit back and see what happens. Oh, the world has just changed so much. What was that? Excuse me? How many birthdays was that all of a sudden? We were just like barreled, barreling over in birthdays. Did you guys see that? There were like a dozen new things. What is this? Oh, it's our conifer. It's our really snowy conifer. Oh, that grows in the very cold human land. What do you mean human land? Stick around then, friend. It's not cold enough for you over here whatsoever. I guess I'm going to drop, like, literally just put this ice stone next to you and we'll just cross our fingers and hope for the best. <laughs> You're going to be in a little bit of trouble, I think. Um, but we did have something else like a gerbia, which is a type of flower, show up for like two seconds, and then it disappeared. Oh, is this is this a new friend? <gasps> it's a new friend! We have a new tree friend! That gives me great joy. Trees that thrive in warmer climates than conifers. They differentiated from conifers over many years. They can be uh, a different type of animal, I think, can be found thriving on it, which is wonderful. All right, we've got a lot of birthdays. We've started to make the world warmer. We haven't even reached peak warm. We've lost our spiders, unfortunately, but we have gained velociraptors and flappy friends, which I approve of. Um, and I wonder if having a few spots that might have like a colder climate might actually encourage our little flappy friends to come back. All right, anybody else new over here? We had a lot of birthdays. I think we're starting to get to the point, yes, there is somebody else who's new over here. I think we're starting to get to the point. Is this a plant that's new? Yay! Where there's actually like living life on top of one another. And so it's a little harder to find. A flowering plant that grows in cool lands. It appears as cosmos and other flowers were propagating through various regions. Well, my friend, it's not very cool over here. It's like 45 degrees Celsius. So I really hope you do okay. I could go ahead and put the cooling stone over here, but everybody else here kind of likes it warm. So bear with it. All right, let's see what happens.
I have no idea how many things just went extinct. Wow. The Cyclomedusa. We got somebody new. Let's focus on that. We have somebody new. Oh my gosh. There, there was a little bit of... A, it's a little bit of a party down here now, friends. <laughs> With things going extinct. And you know what? I want to push... I want to push myself. I want to push myself to more or less the limit at letting things just really go wild. So I think we're going to do... We're going to come see what this little friend is. And if it's if it's not something I fall 110% in love with. Oh, it's a little spider who adapted to hot climates. Good job, friend. Yay, and we leveled up again. Okay, you know what? We're going to do a little bit of a challenge. We're going to give ourselves um maybe 100,000 years. I wanted to say a million years to just let things run and see what happens. Well, let's give ourselves 100,000 years to see how I feel about it. And if I like a million years, then we'll do a million years. But let's speed up a little bit. We'll do 100,000. That's probably as far as I can tolerate before I start flinching. All right. Things are evolving. Oh, there's somebody new. Come on, Siri. Come on. All right. We're going to give it another. <gasps> Velociraptors have gone extinct. Oh, no. Oh no, did we make it too high? There we go. A hundred thousand years came and went. The velociraptors went extinct. That's not good. So many of the other species relied on them. Where's our flappy boys? We've got like one flappy boy. And he is glorious though. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, we do have some Flappy Boys and our little fish spread. <gasps> we have the William tree that grows on very hot savannas. Maybe we need to cool things off. We've got spiders that love living in really hot savannas. Oh my goodness. And then we have this amazing new Flappy Boy. Let's see if we can catch him. We've got to, we've got to get up here and like get a, a capture of him really quickly. All right, here he comes. You guys ready? You guys ready? Oh, it's so close. And here he is in a very hot climate. This guy underwent a mutation, changing its diet from fish to land-dwelling organisms. And his rarity is actually six, so I'm pretty proud about that. But all right, guys. So we may have gone a little too far on the whole global warming thing. I'm not saying that, that you know, maybe we have pushed everything to extinction, but we're pushing a lot of things to extinction. The good news is once you unlock them, it seems like you can encourage them to come back. And also the other good news is that it appears that our snowy conifer zone is sort of like loving life right now. This is kind of cool to see. I don't know if our snowy conifers have made it, but we'll have to check those out later. And we're getting a lot more bold with what we're willing to do on our planet, our little exoplanet, and how we're willing to experiment. So that makes me excited. I would love to unlock more of the Tree of Life. And we're going to have to get the Velociraptors back. I, their population was just booming. I didn't see them disappearing. Whoops. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our wonderful, ever-evolving land. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But until then, my friends, stay curious and wish only the best thoughts for this tiny little newt. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.